Hello, Randy, K7AG. I'm back with another video segment for Ham Nation. I thought I'd be doing some soldering, but I have to do some planning first. I've been playing around with slow scan TV on my iPhone and my iPad, and I want to interface it to a couple ICOM HDs I have. I have a V80 and a T70, so I need some type of interface to go between the two. So before we start soldering, we have to do some planning. So let's take a look at some of the plans and some of the ideas I have. And in the next video, I'll actually do some soldering. So let's take a closer look. So I needed a iPhone interface. So I did what most hams do. We Google things and we look on eBay. So I did a search on eBay for an iPhone interface. And I found this posting for the Easy Digi PSK interface for the iPhone and, and iPad. So I bought one. So this is the interface that I received. I had ordered this for my FT817, and later on I changed my ideas of uh, using the phones with the ICOM HT. So this gave me a start, and uh, I wanted to see what made this special for the iPhone. One thing is the four circuit plug, but there's some other things that we need to check out as well. Okay, here's the schematic that came with the easy Digi interface shows the four circuit iPhone connection. The first two circuits are the audio out for your headphone, your left and your right. Your next one is ground, which is kind of odd. The one closest to the body is the audio input for the mic. And one of the tricks you have to do with the iPhone is connect about 5.7 or maybe 4.7K resistance from the mic connector to ground. And this tells the iPhone to use an external microphone. Otherwise, you can't feed any audio into this. Here's another document I found that shows the same thing. Here's the, the ground and the microphone connection through a 4.7K resistor to ground for it to use the external audio in. So here he's feeding audio in through a capacitor. The resistor tells the phone, go ahead and use the external microphone. And here's the trick down here with the transformer with a 4.7, the same as what's on the Easy Digi interface. And I also found the similar documentation on the Black Cat Systems webpage. These are the people who write the SSTV app for the iPhone iPad, and it's also saying the same thing. So here's my ICOM V80HT that I want to use with my interface to my iPhone. And one of the things I have to do is push to talk. Well, these radios, this and the T70, both have built-in Vox. But what I found out is that I can't make it work. I press the enable or the function in the box, nothing happens. So back to Google, back to searching the world to find out what the trick is to make this work. So here's a drawing I found which shows an ICOM plug that goes in, into the speaker mic and on the small pin here on the small connectors where the microphone audio input and the push to talk and if I had a switch I go push to talk by switching a resistance value to ground so here is the the audio out and it has this control pin now I did some hunting around and I find that some of the microphones with multiple buttons on there actually switch different resistors to ground and I thought okay maybe there's a way to trick this thing in order to turn on the Vox now, after a lot of searching with Google, both looking for web pages and also images is very handy sometimes. I found this fellow's um, hand-drawn posted schematic of some type of interface that he was building for a T70. Okay, I have one of those. Looks like even some Japanese characters here. And so this shows, uh, you know, the microphone with a push to talk and a speaker and it looks like he was doing something that he wanted to feed a line level in as well as a microphone so he shows that wired up here to the microphone plug but on the speaker plug on this control pin I just see that he's got two 100k resistors to ground I thought oh, okay is this what it takes to put the radio into Vox mode Okay, as an experiment, I've soldered the 47K ohm resistor across the two pins, two connections on the uh, connector here. So if I plug it in, it uh, 
change this mode on the radio, go back to VFO mode. And now if I press Function and Vox, you notice right over here, it's really tiny, but a, the Vox symbol lights up. Function Vox off, Function Vox on. So we know the two tricks now. One is the 47K ohm resistor from the mic pin to ground on the phone to make it accept the external microphone and the 47K resistor from the pin to the ground on the radio to enable Vox. So here is the Easy Digi interface I bought off of eBay. This is where KF5INZ, India Nancy Zulu, sells all of his sound card interfaces. Now, this one was $36.95. Now, I have no connection with Easy Digi or anything. I just found these on, on the internet looking around on uh, eBay. Now, he sells all different types also including a little kit which is a board and all the parts for $9.95. So here's my Eltoids can. If I open this up I actually have both kits inside. So here's a bag with a with a complete complete kit and here's a circuit board and here's a little uh, bag of all the components. A couple transformers, resistors, a dialed or two. Here's the uh, printed circuit board. Let me uh, zoom in here. Um, it's, it's nice, it's silk screen, comes with the opto isolator, stuck in through the holes. Um, this looks like the soldering is going to be a quick job. You have a, a couple cutouts here, um, so you can have some mounting screws to hold it. So you can see I'll have lots of room here in the Altoids end. Uh, to mount this. I have lots of height. I can put a hole on each end, run the wires in, and have my little iPhone to iCom radio interface for slow scan TV. Well, I'm sorry we've run out of time in this video. No soldering for right now. Many times the planning takes longer than the actual building. This is going to build real quick, but I've learned how to make the iPhone accept external audio at the trick with the resistor. Another trick with the resistor on the ICOM HT to allow it to use Vox because I need the Vox in order to key the transmitter. I've bought a couple sound card interfaces, the Easy Digi off of eBay. I have no affiliation with them. I've just I've bought a couple kits from them and one interface. I know it's all going to fit in the Altoids can, and now I'm ready to, to get to work, get the soldering iron out, and let's get some smoke going. So, next video, we'll do some soldering. Thank you much. Thanks for watching. Randy, K7AGE73. Plug it into the change plug in the change the here. Here. Let's go back to my three, three circuit. Oh, 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 a couple clip leads, a couple clip leads, a couple clip leads, leads, leads here. So this is going to go on to the, the, the uh, ring, the ring, clip lead, this one on the barrel, the one on the ground, ground. and I have a sleeve, 47 K resistor, yellow, violet, orange. In his drawing, he had two 100 Ks.